Hey everybody, this is a Fancy Action Now mini-sode where I wanted to talk about game collecting apps on your phone and talk about a couple of apps, one of which I really like but they kind of really torqued me off because uh, my phone died, it got dunked and it died and I got a new phone and uh, I went to like, you know, I went to get my cloud update and the app was there, but it's like, we're not gonna honor that app anymore. Or you can't access that app anymore. And I don't mind putting in my games back into it again. I kind of do in a way, but I, you know, it's not, that's not breaking my heart. It's kind of fun where you sit there and you put your games in your app. But I mean, it, that, would take, that, that would take me a series of days just because I have so many titles. But you know, I'd have to do it in bits and you know, hour here, hour there, and just sit there and input games. But um, it's the Retro Collect app. It is, let me go find it in the App Store. <sighs> Am I ill prepared? No, good. This is the Retro Game Collect app. I don't know if you can really see it that good, but it's the Retro Game Collect app. So if you put in re Collect Retro Games, it's one of the first ones up there. So, it's, it's put out by a guy called Captain Touch. That's a little creepy. Um, let's see. This update resolves the following issues. Graph on the More tab is now working. Okay, whatever. So he's talking about his version, this version of it. All right, go away. Preview. All right, here we go. Let me let me read this off to you. So this this app is um, you can download the app, but then you have to, for each system within the app. He used to do he used to sell each system separately. So you had to pay like three bucks. I think it was three three ninety nine for the individual ones. And he like he came out with an Xbox One, a PS Two One, uh, and, and, and you know all the retro systems. Uh, and you would buy each individually as a separate purchase on the App Store. Then he came out with this kind of app that includes all of them in one app, like a hub. And then you have to down you like and the individual ones I bought would not work anymore. I mean, I just could not use them, and I had to delete them. I had to re-download the Retro Game Collector, and I had to repurchase them. Now, I haven't reached out to him and said, hey, look, dude, I've already spent, you know, this money, you know, but I just, because I'm like, well, because I'm such an active collector at this point where I'm like, I kind of want my collection to be organized, I want it to be there, and now I have to literally physically go back and plug each of my titles back in. And it's not, uh, the retro systems don't do like a barcode scan or anything like that, you have to search through the titles alphabetically, find them and select, you know, okay, I've got the game, I've got the case, I've got the manual. Uh, and so, you know, when you're talking about, when you're talking about hundreds of titles, that's time consuming, right? But it's a very good app. It gives you, the, the reason I'm bothering with that and not going Pishaw McGraw is um, it's got the value of it, the market value of it, and you know, all of it, all of it, the rarity, and you know, it's very good, it's very good. So, but it's, ma it's all focused on retro systems. I don't think there's anything beyond, I'd have to, I'll, I'll have to go back and look in there, but like nothing past the Wii, nothing past the Wii. So, Retro Game Collector must have, okay, here we go. You have a game collection, start to manage it. Track games, view their current prices, show off your trophy room, and let our, op, uh, let our app analyze your collection. Retro Game Collector is a must-have reference app. For every game collecting enthusiast, this app serves as a reference for every retro video game ever released. Keep track of your own game collection and even keep a wanted list of like your most, like this is what I'm, I'm hot for. Supports the following, NES, SNES, N64, Game Boy, Game Port Color, Game Boy Advance, DS, Wii, 
Genesis, Mega Drive, Saturn, Sega CD, Dreamcast, GameCube, Game & Watch, Virtual Boy, PS1, PS2, 2600, Master System, 32X, Game Gear, TurboGrafx-16, CD, Xbox, original Xbox, OG, 3DO. Okay? So complete US, um, European Union, and Asian Union version. So imports are covered, uh, the uh, PAL version is covered, box art is available for every game, they have the appropriate box art for the imports, for the most part. We generate an overview and have lots of tools to give you insight into the growth and value of your collection. Multi-device syncing. Sync your collection between all your devices, your own personal collection on the web. MyPureGaming.org. Share your collection with uh, blah, 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 blah. So it's got a 4.8 out of 5 rating. Oh, this guy says, minor inconveniences. Overall, this is a fantastic app extremely, app, extremely thorough, easy to use, and perfect for my collection. However, there are two minor issues I have. One, the issue is that the total value of my collection is a bit lower than it should be, but that's probably a good thing, don't you think? Keep it conservative, man. Everybody thinks their, their stuff is worse more than it is. Uh, another minor issue is that I got the Virtual Boy and 32X for free but I don't desire to have any to collect those consoles and now I have an annoying silver on the pot, sliver on the pawn shop that says others. I'd really like that to go away. Well, that sounds like your anal retentive, dude. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> we won't read his name. So anyway, um, so I was annoyed when I lost my phone and now because he went over to this new platform of having like a hub app versus the individuals, it would not honor my original purchase and I had to repurchase them out of the hub app. So, but that being said, it is a very good app. Now what I did was I did add a few titles that I just got. So I'm gonna, if you look here, there's the, oh. There is the the app there. I'm going to gain, retro connect and my collection. So you, what it does is it gives you it gives you a look at the entire collection for Xbox. Let's say this is the Xbox app, and there it shows you in the background, kind of like in a watermark way that there are 977 total titles for the original Xbox. And then there's a there's a my collection where you can see I've added two titles. And when you go in, it's kind of strange. It actually took me a little bit to figure out. Like when you go into a title, a title if you don't own it, let's see, Final Fight Streetwise. Okay, we'll click on that one. Gives you all the stats and the values of the game and the cover art and all that. There's more, you know, there's more stuff down there. But um, you can type your message. Um, you can actually add, like let's say you have a custom case. Let's say you have disc only and you ordered a custom case. You can actually create that in the value of the app. You can like, or, or add that as a, um, as a, as a factor in the collectible. So you can say it's disc, and then you can create your own uh, category or or filter and say, okay, this is a custom case, and you, you can name it custom case. And so you've got the disc and a custom case, or custom case and custom art, or both, or whatever it is. You can, there are, it's case, manual, and box are the standards, if you have all three of those. And you can check one of each of those depending upon what you have. So if you have case and disc, you tap that. If you have case, disc, manual, you tap all three. But it says, not owned at the bottom. So if you don't own it, it's kind of weird. Like you hit not owned and then a little overlay comes on and you can check whether you want it to have a disc, manual or box. And then you can configure your own specifications as I've said before down below. So it's very nice. It's a very good app. It's very nice to use and it's entertaining to use, okay? And it has the actual dollar values of, if you have the game by itself, the game in the manual, the game manual in case, the game in the case, it has all those values and uh, the established rarity of the game, okay? So it's very cool. So I recommend it. Uh, I'm not very pleased about losing my two 
apps and my investment of $8 because I had both the Xbox and the PS1. Now the other app that I use for the modern systems, current gen and last gen for the most part, is called, it's just called Video Games, but let me go into the app, hold on a minute. This one is called Video Games Database Scanner by iCollect. Okay, that's it in the, uh, the iTunes store, the App Store. So, it says here, catalog and manage all of the video games inventory for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4 Pro, and standard, and standard Xbox One, including X and S, Nintendo Wii U, PS3, PS2, Xbox 360, Wii, 3DS, 2DS, DS, N64, Arcade, Classic Computer Systems, Commodore 64, and much more. So you could do it all in this app. You could do it all in this app. I just like the retro game app better. It, it just, the information is a little bit better and just the, the interface is a little bit nicer. Um, that's what it looks like. That's one of their sample images. Uh, and it's it's good, it's good. I mean, I have it um, and I didn't have any problem with it. Uh, when I reload, the one thing that I will give this game, and it is by, hold on a minute. <clears throat> it is by iCollect, just so you know. Video games database scanner and you can scan barcodes. But it doesn't work on things like, um, it's some PS2 it works on. Uh, but like PS3 definitely, 360 definitely, and anything you know later than that, it's fine. But anything earlier than that, and it's kind of hit or miss. But you can look it up. There's a database search where you can look up the title and select the cover art based on the system. It gives you cover art for all platforms. So it's quite good. So if this is my... So what I've really done is I like the retro game one for the retro game systems, and I like uh, this iCollect one, the database scanner, a video game database scanner for modern stuff. And what I got to hand it to them is um, I did not lose I did not lose my entered games when I upgraded the phone. So it's, uh, you know, that's a big deal for me because I'm like, when I saw that those other two apps work, I checked it immediately because I'm like, man, I got a lot of PS3. That's going to take me hours to get back in. And it was all here. So all my 360 was here. Um, I've even started doing PS1 in here. And I might do all PlayStation in here. I don't know. But... Um, this doesn't really give you dollar values. It doesn't really give you dollar values. Not that I have found. So, yeah, it's even got a 3D, it's got a little 3D notation in the corner there where it says 3D. Uh, so, you know, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of cool stuff with this application. So I've really enjoyed it because of the barcode scanner. So it's like, that's one of the reasons I use this one for the modern systems is because it's just easy to key them in. You just literally go to the scanner and you can say bulk uh, bulk scan and just go down the line, have them laid out and be like boop, 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 and save, 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 and you're done. I mean, it's that easy to use this one. The, da the video game database scanner by iCollect. So those are the two collection apps that I use on my phone. I'm very interested to hear what you do. Do you track them uh, for those other game collectors? Do you use an app out there? But those are the two that I use, the retro game app, uh, the retro game collector app, and the, uh, the database, video game database scanner by iCollect. So check them out, tell me what you think, and if you like them, pick them up. Peace. Spock! Spock! Have you seen the fancy action now? Huh?